So what we're doing today is we are assembling and installing the skeleton of an elasmosaurus. The entire skeleton together is about 500 pounds or so. Um, there's over 150 vertebrae in this skeleton. So this particular skeleton, it was found in Kansas in, I think it was 1868, by a paleontologist named Edward Drinker Cope. And when he originally sketched this in his field notebook, he actually put the head on the tail, and it started this big controversy in paleontology called the Bone Wars. And they eventually got it right. For this particular skeleton, the neck itself is 30 feet long, 